My name is Tim. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Luca Darkroom. What we do in there is that in the darkroom is mainly focusing on developing and printing uh, for black and white photos, um, film photos. It's kind of a, a, a lost uh, technique. I used to be the main way people worked. It was the only way. I just got the idea to shoot a photographic tarot card deck. It came to me in a dream. And I got up the next morning and I started uh, assembling all models and various props. Now again, this is before Photoshop, so if I needed swords, I had to have swords. If something was on fire, I had to light it on fire. If I had to hang my brother, for example, um, there were different things that had to be done. That's my mom and dad, for example. That's me tied up and blindfolded using a self-timer to photograph myself. And the three, of, the three of swords there, some of that's drawn on the negative uh, to create that. But again, it's really hard for you guys to imagine no Photoshop. You know? So if I wanted images like this, I had to construct them in the dark. Film and digital are, are different things. Film is a lot more planned. Um, I feel like because you don't know what it's going to look like until the end. And I think there's something really beautiful about that. Because I'm scared to do night and film because you never know until you develop the film, which makes it significantly harder in my opinion. So you always leave yourself that aspect of the, uh, the uncertainty and the uncontrollable. Uh, and then you work with that. Uh, that's film. And I think digital, on the other hand, is that you will have the absolute control. But I also really like digital because I like taking like happenstance pictures. I like taking pictures of things. I kind of I think the most beautiful photos I take are not planned, and it's not where the shot is set up, and it's not where you know I waited for the light to be perfect or I really adjusted things. It's a picture that I, I got of my friends doing something and they didn't realize it was going to happen, and I didn't really even decide I was going to take the picture until I did. I think speed, accuracy. I mean the things you can take with a digital camera just still blow my mind in terms of light level. One objection I have to digital is I find it really hard to um, restrain myself for one thing. I, w I shoot way too much and then it's also, except I use iPhoto uh, and I use a lot of tags and, and various ways to try to find images, I find it's very hard to go back and find particular shots. The all, it's commercial, which by, by means is uh, fast and big quantity. Do I need to produce you know, a, lo a lot of photos that I use digital? And then when I capture something, I move very fast or in more extreme condition than I use digital. Um, when I use films, that was when <clears throat> my focus mainly is on um, the artistic aspects of it. It makes you focus more on what you're shooting. Like you can only shoot so many images at one time. Where digitally you can just click away and then look at your like thousands of photos and see which one you like most. But um, but film yet yeah, has that kind of slow approach to it, um, and kind of that mystery of what your images are going to look like in the end instead of that like instant gratification. If I have an objection to digital, is that you shoot too much. Wait. I don't think that, that it has as much meaning. Um, I can remember many, many of these shots because I took time making them. I can remember where I was and you know, what I was thinking about. You don't do that with digital. Um, I think film and digital are um, are are trying to achieve the same thing, uh, which is to communicate with people through image. But however, they're approaching to these uh, these ideas or these go uh, with two very different philosophy. Yeah, I think uh, film definitely still has a place in the digital world. 